How do you use your business cards if you're not pushing them at every random person you see at the meeting? Well, you put it in your pocket and you ask them, hey, what do you do? In fact, here's a few questions that I really like. Oh, what do you do? Nice to meet you. Listen, be attentive, actually pay attention. I have to tell myself this. I'm not telling it to you, I'm telling it to myself. But after that, we ask them, whoa, cool. I like really take an interest in this is genuine. Whoa, that's really cool. Because honestly, I think what most people do is really cool. And then you ask them, wow. So who's a good client for you? And that, it's almost like judo. It takes people a little bit off guard because they're like, whoa, you're coming in to help me. Because I don't know why, but a lot of us are wired to come into networking meetings like, I want to get some clients. I want to get some good connections. And I don't know if you're going to be a good connection. So I don't know if I want to talk to you. I don't know. At least that's the way I came into networking. But this weird little bit of networking judo, lean into what other people want. Yeah, so how can I help you find a client? Who's an ideal referral to you? Um, what industry? Uh, is there any like tell or any like what, what I would call like a look or a listen? I learned that from Business Networking International. But what? how could I tell when someone might be a good fit for you? Is there a line that I can say to them that would set you up to get you an introduction? Something like, oh, my friend had that exact same problem, but he went to Roger who does the taxes and Oh my gosh, handled that in a snap. Does that sound interesting to you? And then people will want to get connected with you and stay connected with you. And that's kind of how you invite them. Oh yeah, yeah, here's my card. I'll get them in touch with you. You got a card, right? Give me your card. And then you exchange cards and it works out super nice. Doesn't feel weird, doesn't feel slimy. And everyone's a lot happier and you feel good because you helped someone. At least if you're wired something like the way I'm wired. But I find that a lot of people actually are. So do a lot of people know about this thing? Yeah, I mean, the the whole, oh, let me help you with your business as a way to actually make a genuine connection. Honestly, I don't know if I'm the best person to speak to that, but what I can tell you is that a lot of the first networking events I went to, there were three groups of people. There was the people pushing the cards, like they're like, <laughs> I can set up events. I love working with construction firms. I do this and that. We connected with SoFi. You know, the football stadium, SoFi. Yeah, we got connections there. And I was like, oh, 20 minutes later, <laughs> there's the other group of people that are stuck in that conversation. I'm like, mm, yeah, interesting. And I'm trying to figure out how to get out of it and how I can like, you know, exchange some of my information. I'm kind of just stuck. And then there's the third group of people, which I quickly joined. We're in the corner, hiding out near the snacks and the drinks. Be like, okay, so what are we supposed to do here? <laughs> like, you've been here? You've been to the chamber before? No, me neither. How are you doing? What do you do? Oh, cool. And we kind of bond over our mutual awkwardness. Kind of fun, kind of not. I walked out of that experience kind of like weirded out, but it did take me um, going to some more organized network groups like BNI, Business Networking International, and some of their trainings to kind of get my head around that idea. They call it giver's game. And I just found it not only true in this networking side of things, but just in the way I run my business too. Here is a weird tip that I just heard from business coach Rena Mora out here in the South Bay in California. She says, when you go to a networking event, show up late intentionally. It's not just about being fashionable, it's strategic. Why? Because there's a little bit of hype. It's like when you're the new kid at school. If you're the new kid at school on the first day of school, you're just one more in the crowd of new kids. And it's all like, oh, you're just lost in the big blah. There's all the new kids coming in. And the sophomores are like, oh, freshmen kind of thing. But if you come in late as the new kid at school, right? Everyone's like, oh, who's the new kid? Immediate attention. And I've noticed this because not intentionally, I have come late to a few networking events. It's happened. And what happens is people look when you come through the door. And I realized when I came on time, I look at the people that come through the door in the middle. I'm like, oh, is it my friend? Is it so-and-so? Oh, not yet, but oh, who's that? Oh, what's it say on their name badge? Oh, uh, and so you get a little extra networking juice. Hidden bonus, what happens is you can look for the people that aren't in a crowd. 
because there's always some of those poor people that are like kind of confused, but you never know who knows who. It doesn't matter if they don't know like how to network. You never know who knows who. You never know who's in your room. Some of my best connections come out of left field. I thought the graphic designer would be one of my best referral partners, and she is. I was right. However, home and auto insurance, I've got a friend at Farmers Insurance. He refers me awesome business, and he's an insurance guy. Does it make sense? No. Does it work? Absolutely, because he's got a completely different network. So go hang out. When you come late, look for the person sitting by themselves, kind of chilling, maybe nursing a drink or a sandwich and say, hey, what's up? Hey, I'm Ed. It's an easy conversation to start. If they came, they probably want to network, probably. And because no one's talking to them, they'll appreciate your initiative. It's a great way to serve them and to make them feel comfortable too. And a great way to have a, a more meaningful conversation one-to-one. -one. So showing up late. One last weird networking tip. So you're supposed to show up late for networking mixers. What about for lunches? What do you think? You show up early. Wait, 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 Why? what's the difference between a luncheon and a mixer? Well, you show up early for the luncheon. Shout out to Rina Mora, business coach again for this tip. You show up early because then you can pick your seat. You have to sit next to someone. It's not a mixer where you're moving. So you wanna be strategic who you sit next to. What table are you at? Look for a potential referral partner that you might be interested in and go find a seat next to them, especially if you haven't got to know them yet. And it's a great opportunity.